Now, before we start this question, what I've done is just summarized what we're given. We're given that this random variable, which I've actually introduced here, let x be the random variable, which is distributed binomially 20 and then p. And we're told that the null hypothesis is p is equal to 0.3, and the alternative hypothesis is that p is not equal to 0.3. And we're given this significance level of 5%. I've called it the nominal significance level rather than the actual significance level because we're going to be asked to work that out later on in part B. Now, we're also told then that we've got to find this, the critical regions by carrying out a two-tailed test essentially where we've got to look at the probabilities in each of the two tails to be as close as we can to two and a half percent by cutting this in half. Basically what is going on just to recap is that if I was to just draw a line here that represented what x could be remember you could have no successes all the way up to 20 successes and what can we expect? Well, if HO is true, P being 0.3, then the mean for any binomial is NP, and we could expect 20 times 0.3, which is six successes. So we're expecting to get round about six successes if P was equal to 0 0.3. We might get slightly lower than 6, we might get slightly more, so we're going to get successes somewhere in this region here. Now if we take this value here, let's call it the lower critical value. It's an observed value, so I'm going to call it x with a little l there. And this one we'll call the upper critical value, x with a u. And so what we've got to do is find these two values so that the probability of being lower than this critical value is as close as we can get to 2.5%. And for this upper critical value, we've got to find it so that the probability of getting more than it is as close as we can get to 2.5%. So at these points, if we go below it or above it, we're going to reject HO. So to summarize, what we've got then is that I'm going to reject HO if the probability of being less than the lower critical value here, given that HO is true, that is P equals 0.3, is as close as we can get to 2.5% or 0.025. And we're also going to look at the probability of X being greater than or equal to this upper critical value, given that HO is true, and also to find out that value if that probability is as close as we can get to 0.025. So to do this, let's just start by looking at the first one. So to do this, let's just look at getting the lower critical value, XL, okay? So we know that we're looking for the probability of x being less than or equal to that lower critical value, given that HO is true, that is P equals 0 0.3, has got to be as close as we can get, let's just say approximately 0 0.025. And to do this, we look at tables and taken the section of the tables that we're interested in. So if you look at your tables, your cumulative binomial tables, which give us the probability of being less than or equal to a given value, we look up p equaling 0 0.3, and we look in the set where n is equal to 20, and then work our way down this column here, looking for values of probabilities that get us as close as we can to 0.025. Well, you can see that the value that we're interested in has to be this one here. This one's too small, but this one is as close as we're going to get to 0.025. So you can see that the x value has to be 2. So that's going to be 
our value from tables we can say okay let's just put this down here from tables that lower critical value Excel has to equal to now let's have a look at trying to get this upper one which takes a little bit more work but for that upper one for XU we know then that the probability of x being greater than or equal to that upper critical value given that ho is true in other words p equals 0 0.3 again we want to get this as close as we can i'll just put approximately though and get it as close as we can to 0 0.025 now knowing that we've got tables here which only give us probabilities being less than or equal to a number then if we're to look for this as being as close as we can get to two and a half percent then the probability of being lower than it must be as close as we can get to ninety seven and a half percent so therefore what, we're, what I'm trying to say is the probability x is less than or equal to now you can be careful here it's not x u it's x u minus one okay because we've got integer values coming down through here so I mean like for instance if this was greater than or equal to 15 then this would be less than or equal to 14 one less than our value up here okay so just as a warning just take care on that one so we want this probability to be as close as we can get or approximately 97.5% or the decimal equivalent 0.975 now again from tables okay as we look across to this tables here we want to get as close as we can get to 0.975 so when you come down through here it's between these two values here at 9 and 10 well the value that is closest to 0.975 turns out to be this value okay so our x value is 10 well I say our x value is 10 we've got to be careful because it's really x u minus 1 so x u minus 1 is equal to the 10 and so it follows from there that the upper critical value must be equal to 11 so essentially the critical values in answer to this question the critical values are going to be where x is less than or equal to 2 or x is greater than or equal to 11 these are cut off points then all right